since taking over YTL Group way back in 1988, you've actually transformed the family cement business into a diversified infrastructure group of companies with assets worth over 20 billion US dollars. What will it be like in five to 10 years? 30, 40 billion? I hope much more. I hope much more because these assets are very chunky. When you go into this business, physical infrastructure assets and these uh, data center assets are very chunky and very uh, expensive. So we are talking uh, billions of investments. Mm. So the hotels and the other sites are easy to expand and the shopping centers. Those are easy uh, cyclical businesses to expand footprints. Uh, but the major infrastructure digital are very big in chunky things. So yes, so I expect the assets to grow quite exponentially. So long-term payback is huge. I hope so. I hope so. I hope to retire <laughs> one day and having no problem with the dividends that comes to my pocket. I only have one wealth and that is dividends from my shares. I have no other wealth. <laughs> Let's talk more about the next generation yes. because as a third generation yourself, have you filled in the box as to who might replace you? I, I think that, that will YTL take care of itself group? through time. I think we are a public listed company, so you can't fool around with nepotism and cronyism and all of that. People will see through you. All who joined the company today have got that incredible credential. So I would not suffer definitely from accusation, nepotism or cronyism. They can easily fit in a leader to be... It will not be a big surprise one way or another if we put a leader within the family to be a future leader. But you do have someone in mind. Well, I mean, the group is so vital. We have got many, just like my thing, there will be a chairman, there will be many MDs. I think that's more important. The MDs are all my, my children, uh, my nieces, nephews, all of them will be able to sit. And then the chairman will be probably uh, just like me, an older person. <laughs> Being, you know, my role is very easy now. I used to make a thousand decisions a day and it all got to be right in the younger days. And uh, Bezos says he makes three good decisions a day. Uh, Warren Buffett says he makes three good decisions a year. So for me... You're almost there. <laughs> for me, as long as I, I make, uh, well, three decisions uh, in half a day, right? Or six decisions, seven de good decisions a day, mm -hmm. I'm fine. So that's my role now, being able to make good decisions because of uh, this delegation to all the next generation. And finally, after being at the helm of YTL Group for more than three decades, with no plans to step down yet, have you thought about the legacy you want to leave behind? So for me, legacy means when we live together in my generation, we left a foundation and a business that are so well knitted that the next generation will do much, much better than us, much, much better without us. And if we do not do that, and uh, actually the next generation collapse, when we leave the group, all my generation, then that would have been a bad legacy. A good legacy is, is that they do so much better without us. That would be the legacy.